On the news this morning, Governor Obiano meets with traditional rulers and presidents general in the state ahead of the commencement of third phase of Community Choose Your Project initiative. INEC continues advocacy visits to major stakeholders to ensure peaceful and credible polls. Police arrest couple in Enugu for conspiring to kill first wife. And on the foreign scene, rare monsoon rains in Australia caused disastrous flooding. Good morning and welcome to the news. My name is Ifi Onachuku. And now the news in detail. Governor William Biano has made it clear that he is still a loyal member of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, APGA, and supports all candidates contesting under the party in next month's general elections. It's against rumor making rounds that he is supporting one of the other party's presidential candidates. The governor made this known during the one-day traditional rulers and president's general meeting organized by the state government at the Professor Dora Konyele Women Development Center, Oka. Correspondent Emmanuel Okonko tells us more. Treats which attracted traditional rulers and presidents general from across the state was an interactive section enlightening them on how best to play their roles as community leaders and custodians of culture and tradition. Governor William Biano is saying that he is still the national leader of the All Progressives Grand Alliance, APCA, stated that there is no way he will be supporting the All Progressive Congress, APC presidential candidate, when the All Progressives Grand Alliance, APCA, his own party, has its own presidential candidate. Governor Obianok was represented by the state chief of staff, Mr. Primus Audley, described Abga as a platform through which Ndebo can surmount their political challenges and make life better for themselves, calling on their number to give massive support to all Abga candidates in the forthcoming elections. The governor's position is that at this point, that the APC have the presidential candidate. PDP have the presidential candidate and APGA, which is his own party, and which, by the way, is the party of Ndibo, have their own presidential candidate. And that we should have a very neutral, level playing ground for all these candidates. And that the will of the people should be allowed to count in the forthcoming election. In her remarks, the special advisor to the governor on chieftaincy matters, Barrister Vera Okonkwo, commended the community heads on their efforts towards maintaining peace and order in their various communities of the state. Speaking, the traditional ruler of Ukulu community, Igwe Peter Oyangwa, and the President General Anambra State Association of Town Unions, Asato Chief Alex Onukwe, said the Obiano government remains exceptional amidst all other governments the state had witnessed, owing to its project and people oriented policies and interventions, assuring the unflinching support of the traditional rulers and Asato to the administration. I so, Ohanese should know that to do a thing like that as to what they did, proper consultations must be made. We are in the Igbo. At the end of the day, it is important that we get our acts together so that we do not wash our dirty linings in the public. Projects executed by the various communities in the state under the 20 million Naira Choose Your Project initiative scheme was during the event displayed on the screen for assessment by the community leaders. From the Professor Dora Akunyili Women's Development Center in Oka, I am Emmanuel Okonkwo reporting for ABS News. The senator representing Anambra Central Senatorial District, Chief Victor Me, has reassured his commitment to equitable representation of his constituents if re-elected during the forthcoming election. Chief Ume gave the assurance during his campaign rallies at some communities in Oka North and South Okogaban areas. Correspondent Emmanuel Chibataku was there for the ABS. Reports that the towns visited were Mbaku, Okmono, Oka, Nise, Ezinato, Isiago and Amobia. And this is his report. Two 
Sunetu Mer, who expressed satisfaction on the massive turnout of supporters, including party officers, youths, and stakeholders at the community, stressed that his constituency would see robust development in his second term and pledged to focus majorly on human capital development, scholarship awards to the less privileged, and creating job opportunities for youths. Sunetu Mer, however, listed some of his indelible achievements in just one year as a first timer in the Red Chambers. <laughs> In the remark, the member representing Oka South constituency at the State House of Assembly, Dr. Nnamdi Okafor, and the Transition Committee Chairman Oka South Council Area, Mr. Leon Oba, who commended the Senator for his boldness and courageous leadership, assured him of 100% votes in the constituency. On the the National Chairman of APUGA, Chief Victor Oye, Principal Secretary to the State Government, Sir William Okoye, and Head of Service, Barrister Harry Odo, noted that Indianambra Senatorial District will benefit immensely if they vote Senator Ume. I know of a baby man and the way you do any. But I am a man and that's what I want. You ain't a gathering and a dear man, one and melody. But when my children are more than one of the best community, the election to an ambassador center. He has done ex exceedingly well. He has done exceedingly well. Of course, we are not surprised. Um, we know his pedigree. We know his pedigree, we know where he's coming from. But we are in school together. And um, at the risk of sounding immodest, that is the stuff of which our old boys are made. They distinguish themselves in all spheres, wherever you find them. <laughs> The National President, Abuga Solidarity Movement, Mr. Bero Kafo, a Koka Market Chairman, Ambassador Emeka Judago Mado, and an Abuga stakeholder, Shivdan Ubuefi, applauded Shifume for his philanthropic activities and described him as a compassionate leader who derives joy in ameliorating the plight of the poor. The campaign tour climbs with empowerment of over 38 petty traders, scholarship awards, and masquerade display. From Amobia, in Oka South local government area, Emmanuel Shibata, ABS News. Ahead of the February 16 general polls, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has held a crucial meeting with security chiefs of various agencies in the state as part of its security arrangement aimed at ensuring a successful violence-free election. The meeting became more crucial with the fact that security agents are expected at the 4,608 polling units in the state. Correspondent Chibuzo Bidike filed in the support which had in attendance the Nigerian Immigration Service, Customs Service, the Police, Federal Road Safety Corps, the Army, Department of State Security, Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, Nigerian Prison Service, National Youth Service Corps, among others, came together to deliberate on the security challenges that might affect the success of the elections and provide solutions as well as report their preparedness for this month's and next month's general elections. Briefing journalists shortly after the joint security meeting with the INEC boss, the State Commission of police, Mr. Gaba Omar expressed optimism that the index of minor and major problems have been identified and strategies developed to ensure the success of the elections. 
It will be free playing ground for all to exercise their franchise. And this is what we have discussed. We are appealing to members of the public and politicians uh, to play by the rule. And um, uh, we, on our own part, the security agencies will, um, uh, be, will be professional. We will show our neutrality in respect of our conduct and action during the election. And during, before and after the election, we have promised to provide adequate security in all uh, the polling units. The Expressing confidence with a level of preparedness, the state's resident electoral commissioner, Dr. Mpachukwoji, taxed the Nigerian police and other security agencies in the state on adherence to the provisions of the Electoral Act and advised members of the public to be confident of the process and come out and vote as the state is safe and secure for all. I feel confident in terms of our preparation. Uh, we allowed this meeting to come at this point because we wanted to uh, have it very close to the election. So I feel confident that uh, the, the arrangements we have made uh, will bear fruit. My advice to the public is that they should be, uh, they should be confident about the process, they should come out and participate in the process. The security in Anambra is well assured. From the INEC headquarter in Oka, Chibuzo Ubidiki, ABS News. INEC in the state has continued its enlightenment program for critical stakeholders towards a free and fair and, of course, transparent 2019 polls. The resident electoral commissioner, Dr. Nkwachukwoji, led his advocacy team to the Catholic Bishop of Oka Diocese, Most Reverend Paulinos Ezokafo, and that of the Anglican Communion, Right Reverend Alexandi Bezim. Correspondent Chibu Zobidike was part of the visit and now reports. Speaking during the visit, Dr. Oji Wu said that the meeting was imperative considering the place of the church in the larger society and the fast approaching 2019 elections and the need to brief the religious leaders about the preparations made so far, seek their support towards educating their congregation and the political class to ensure that they are abreast with the laid down principles of the electoral processes. The state INEC boss revealed that the commission is at its last phase of preparation, which are the ongoing training of 24,000 ad hoc officials, distribution of non-sensitive materials to the 5,720 polling units, while deployment of ad hoc officials will commence soon. Dr. Oji, who made it clear that the 2019 election results will be delayed due to the huge additional 4 million registered voters between 2015 to date and an increased number of registered political parties with their candidates urge the citizenry to be patient with the commission as they will be fair and objective in all their dealings. Firstly, to make sure that everything that is within our control we discharge them and make sure that uh, uh, we do all we can do. And then uh, we pray that God will help us and strengthen us and, you know, even talk to the minds of our people that this process will be peaceful, uh, free and fair and acceptable. Uh, to, to the contestants. So that's why we have come. While saying that it is only in the selection of leaders that Nigerians have the opportunity of reshaping and making decisions about the future of the country, Bishop Ezokafo acknowledged the improvement in the state INEC system and advised the commission to fashion out ways of regulating the increasing rate of political parties as it will minimize invalid votes during elections and shared the view that no elective position is worth the blood of any Nigerian. We want this country to be good. And this country can only be good if you have the right people. And that people will come if the right people are voted in. So we will just uh, conscientize our people of the need to vote according to individual conscience and vote for tomorrow and not what you are getting today. Receiving the team, Bishop Ibezim said the visit will go a long way in educating the citizenry and advocated that INEC should equally carry the message home in ensuring that what is on paper is practicalized, praying God to strengthen their efforts in doing the right thing for the well-being of all. Our country, Nigeria, there is unity in diversity. Mm -hmm. So if you do your work well here in Anambra State and somebody in the two states does his work well, and somebody in the Kaduna state does his work well, then what are we talking about? Yeah. Uh, because we should not be away or, or forget the fact that if there is instability in the country, it will affect everybody. In Oka, Chibuzo Bidiki, ABS News.
Residents of Odoroba by Deeper Life Street, Iyo Odeme, have cried the blackout in the street for the past 13 months. We have the details. During a peaceful protest they carried to the AADC Obaro District Office, the leader of the community, Igwe Serial Obuago, narrated how the existing transformer donated by the EEDC for repair because it broke down due to the load, but till date it has not been returned to them in spite of countless times they went to the office for the restoration of their transformer. Very good years. Now that doesn't have problems, they don't want to replace it. Could you imagine? So I'm appealing to them or the government of Anambra State, or whoever that is concerned, we are tired. Even if the is not enough, we have one day that we're supposed to amount. When I meet the, 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 the business manager at Telugu, what he told me is that, 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 that they're not changing us for transformer, that they're changing us for energy. I don't know the difference between transformer and energy. How can, how can I buy a transformer and keep? You, you come and collect money from me. When that transformer has a problem, you cannot repay it. So it is, it, is, it, is, it is very disappointing. If they let loose, the people will have problems in this community because we have endured a lot. So Adding their voices, Sir Onyo Zirichukwe Mecca recounted how the Odo rubber community have been repairing the transformer on their own without delay before the EEDC came and carried it for repair for one year and one month now and appealed to the state government and their representatives to come to their rescue. So going with the transformer na ya frozia na fogaraga no wanke january ka transforma enwe nsogu aga kundi di sinza fuma ka transforma na fuma ki nyoku we go ha transforma enwe nsogu ha bia bia burie go ai na aga dozie e design surprise na mbe ha na ebi ha toro ma mo kebo toro ma fuse toro ihe ni na sign no kan do riga ri bia bia ikwere kwa ai na chesi kebu ga cha transforma ta ta na me ofo mbaro na ofo nwa ai na fu be transforma while Mr. Chinasa Ilechuku lamented the losses they've recorded in their businesses due to the blackout and implored those concerned to come to their rescue. <laughs> The Odo Roba residents marched through the Atani Odoebe Road with placards with different inscriptions like One Year in Darkness, Restore Our Light, Where is Our Transformer? Government come to our rescue, among others, to the EADC Obao District Office to register their protests. Meanwhile, the head of communications, EEDC headquarters, Enugu Mr. Mekeze, in his own reaction said the transformer serving them, which is Deeper Life 500 kV Star 3 kV transformer developed faults sometime last year and was then moved to their workshop for repairs and that the repairs has been completed and the transformer ready to be returned to site. A 56-year-old man, Simon Wodo, have allegedly conspired, has allegedly conspired with his second wife, Edith, and killed his first wife, Kate, over a family dispute. The state police command confirmed the incident in a statement through its public relations officer, Ebera Marizu. Amarizu said the state command through the operatives of the state criminal investigation and intelligence department had commenced full-scale investigation into the circumstances surrounding the alleged murder of the woman from Amakofia community, Ukehe, Ibueti to local governed area of Enugu state. The police spokesman said that Simon and his second wife have been arrested and they are helping the operatives in their investigation in relation to the unfortunate incident. Exceptional monsoon rains have caused severe flooding in parts of Australia's northeastern state of Queensland. Cars and livestock have been swept away over a large area around the coastal city of Townsville. Emergency crews are evacuating people on the rafts. Up to 20,000 homes could be flooded if the downpours continue. A dam has reached twice its capacity and water is being released to avoid putting further strain on it. More rain is expected in the coming days. Northern Queensland has a tropical climate and experiences, and experiences monsoon rain from December to April. But the current conditions in the Townsville area are rare. And now sports. Over 1,000 persons have participated in the fourth edition of Anambra Walk for Life, 
brainchild of the State Sports Development Commission. This edition, which took place in the city of Onicha, took off from the Zeke Roundabout Onicha. Due stakeholders in the state, including House of Assembly members, commissioners, top government functionaries, among others. Correspondent Ejika Bana has the details. Took off from Zix Roundabout through Oka Road to DMGS Roundabout and New Market Road. The team also went through Egerton Road, GRA, through Governor's Lodge, Onisha, and terminated at Chuba Ibazu Stadium with aerobics. There were few refill points through the about 10 kilometer walk. Speaking, the chairman of the State Sports Development Commission, Chief Tony Uli, while appreciating Indonesia for coming out en masse for the exercise, said that having been duly approved by Governor Uli Obiano, the exercise is a means of encouraging Indianambra to keep fit and healthy, adding that subsequent editions will take place in Oka, Newe, and so on. We've done it very well, and we thank God for everything. No casualty. The road users were cooperative. The service agencies, they were doing very well, and I thank everybody. For the member representing on the North 2 constituency at the State Assembly, Mr. Edi Ibuzo, the exercise has numerous benefits and encouraged his constituents to embark on regular exercise. I feel good right now and I feel healthy. You know, sports is life. We need to burn this carbohydrate so that uh, we get our life back. So I'm so impressed. Kudos to His Excellency for making it wonderful. The Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the Anambra Broadcasting Service, Chief Uche Mwara, said that ABS is a media partner and strong supporter of the Work for Life project, which he said has turned to be a tradition under the present administration. No idea, which is why uh, Anambra Broadcasting Service and the media organization is partnering with you know, you can see we're all sweaty, we're all tired. And uh, I want to commend on the people for turning up. It's a wonderful experience. The Transition Committee Chairman for Onisha South Council Area, Mr. Patrick Ayamba, lauded the Governor for supporting the initiative. The exercise witnessed dance sessions and light refreshments. Also present were the Commissioner for Lands, Mr. Namdi Onukube, member representing Onisha South's two constituency, Mrs. Beverly Nkemdiche Bazo, ABGA candidate for Onisha North and South Federal constituency, Mr. Patrick Obiang, among others. From the Chubai Bazu Stadium on the Shah, AGK Abana, ABS News. Well, that's the news, but remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS 88.5 FM from any part of the world by logging onto our website, www.absradiotv.com. You can also like us at www.facebook.com forward slash ABS Radio Television. Or follow us on Twitter and Instagram at ABS Radio TV. And now a recap of the main points. Governor Obiano has met with traditional rulers and presidents general in the state ahead of commencement of third phase of Community Choose Your Project Initiative. INEC has continued advocacy visits to major stakeholders to ensure peaceful and credible polls. Police has arrested couple in Enugu for conspiring to kill first wife. And on the foreign scene, rare monsoon rains in Australia have caused disastrous flooding. Thanks for joining us on the news and have a beautiful Sunday.